You have patiently waited 21 long years, but it's finally here. An honest to God, full fledged PC port of one of the most beloved platformers on the PS2. And it is no thanks to Sony or Naughty Dog. Let's talk through all the changes, improvements, and most importantly, how you can play this for yourself. Hey friends, what's good? It's not often that there are real Jack and Daxter updates outside of just rumors and speculation, but that is exactly what I've got for you in today's video. And seeing as it's been 13 years since the last Jack and Daxter game released and left a horrible taste in everyone's mouths, whoever did this should be destroyed. I think that's pretty dang exciting. What you are looking at here is Jack and Daxter, the precursor legacy, running natively on PC. No streaming, no emulation, no remote play, nada. Now, Sony have been killing it recently with starting to open up their exclusive titles to PC players by slowly porting over some of their highest profile games over the last few years, with even more to come down the track. But when it comes to this port, they deserve none of the credit. In another classic case of fans asking, waiting, then saying, screw it, we'll do the damn thing ourselves, all the praise for this one goes to the developers at Open Goal. Now, the team at Open Goal love this franchise so much, they've put themselves through a very unique kind of hell to get this up and running for the rest of the world to enjoy. In what I can only describe as the best example of the blind leading the blind, let me first give you some background on the programming language used to develop the original series. The entire Jack and Daxter series was developed using a custom programming language that Naughty Dog created called Goal. Now, at the time, not only was this not a problem for Naughty Dog to manage, but it also helped push Jack and Daxter ahead of its time, with the precursor legacy being credited as the first game without loading screens. Naughty Dog went on to use this goal language for all their other games in the series, because again, Naughty Dog could speak it. But when they were acquired by Sony, well, I guess Sony weren't exactly jazzed about the idea that their new studio spoke a weirdo programming language that no one else understood. That left us in a situation where if you were to look at the code for any of the Jack series, well, it would basically be like trying to read Latin or whatever your preferred dead language is. And this is where Open Goal comes in. For them to successfully port this game, that meant they had to decompile an estimated 500,000 lines of original code into quote, human readable goal code, and then develop their own compiler for goal to re compile the code to actually make it playable. As it stands, they've done a phenomenal job with it so far. The project is currently sitting at about 80% complete, but it is not only playable, but it can already be completed with a 100% completion rating. Out of the 500,000 lines of code they have to get through, they've already decompiled over 400,000 of them. The main area that the developers yet to finish are the polish areas, and that means that there's the occasional pop-in or draw distance issues, but even if none of that was to be fixed, this game is without a doubt the best way to play it in 2022 and beyond. Because this isn't done through emulation, that means a number of tweaks and quality of life improvements have been made to the game as well, particularly in the options. Now, we have a wide range of different options that can be tweaked, with one of the biggest being the game resolution. Now, the game can be played at native 4K, and it looks as stunning and crisp as you would expect it to. Not only that, but there have been improvements made to frame rate, allowing you to run it at a smooth 60 and beyond. Other graphical options have been added like MXAA settings and even PS2 settings to change the level of detail in the foreground and background depending on how old school you want it to look. Outside of all the different graphical options, you also have other options that more directly impact the gameplay experience. No longer do you have to borderline hack your game to uninvert the camera controls, now all the settings are right where you would expect them to be. Subtitles can be toggled on and off with ease during cutscenes and accessibility options have even been added to subtly highlight precursor orbs, making them even easier easier to spot than ever. Extras have been added which include access to music from the game as it's completed, and even a section for unlockable cheats, and this is all just what's there at the time of recording. Open Goal have a big list of ideas and suggestions that they're working on adding into the game as time goes on, and they are hopeful that the whole project will be completed in the next couple of months. Not only are they going to be making their own improvements to the game, but being a full PC port opens up the door to something that's even arguably more exciting, and that is the world of mods. People have already started playing around with modding the game, so it's not unreasonable to think that over the next few months, we might very well have brand new Jack and Daxter content we've never played before, because fans are incredible people. Outside of the changes made within the menus, Open Goal wants to recreate the experience of Jack and Daxter as faithfully as possible. That means making sure the game feels like the original and looks like it too, only about a thousand times better. The game feels much tighter to control than the originals as well. I played back through the Geyser Rock level on PS4 just to get a bit of a feel for it, and it definitely felt far less responsive. I mean, just look at the skill I had here when catching all the fish on the PC port. Stay 
Yeah, I'm normally not anywhere close to being that good, so I'm chalking it up to the game. When comparing the PS4 version to the PC port, again, the difference is a night and day. Keep in mind that the PS4 version is only an emulated version of the PS2 originals, but with that said, that's most likely the version that you can easily pick up again today, unless you still have an operational PS3 that you can boot the games up on. Again, everything just looks great. Haven't had enough good news? Okay, well, here's some more. Open Goal is planning on not just decompiling the code for Jack and Daxter, but also on doing the code for Jack 2 and Jack 3 as well, meaning that it is going to be the entire trilogy that gets this treatment. They're yet to start work on Jack 2, but you can imagine that once they finish Jack and Daxter, they'll have some more time to shift to other projects. Now, how do you go about playing this yourself? Given that it's an unofficial port, you can't just purchase and download it from your usual mum and pop shops like Steam or Epic Games. On the plus side, it is super easy to download and set up and to reiterate you do not need to have an emulator set up to run this. I've put a link in the description to a video that will show you exactly how to go about downloading and installing it and I've also included the github download link directly as well. From that link you're looking at downloading the most recent open goal asset for your operating system which at the time of recording is version 0.1.21 but expect that to change pretty quickly as it gets finished. The minimum system requirements might change by the time it's completed as well but as it stands now at the time of recording Open Goal have said that most, if not all, 64-bit CPUs should work, and Nvidia graphics cards should have no issues running the game, but AMD cards might struggle unless you have a more powerful one. I've included another link in the description to the FAQ page that goes into these sorts of things in much, much more detail as well. Ultimately, it is awesome seeing a project like this come to life for a game series that is seriously at risk of being lost in the future without some sort of game preservation. On top of that, it's really cool to see that part of their purpose is to allow fans to explore the original game code so we can learn about how they worked and how it was all originally made as well, which is a super great touch. So big shout out to Open Goal, you are all doing incredible work. Shout out to YouTube commenter Ronicle as well for even making me aware that this was a thing because yesterday I had literally no idea this existed. And shout out to you, hope you can give this one a go because if you're a fan of Jack and Daxter, then trust me, you do not want to sleep on this one. So long friends. and. Until next time, let's go. I'm not gonna lie, daughter has a bona yagi, her brain fried. My lady papa's any out